Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are working on our How to Crochet a Polka Dot Blanket Crochet Along series and we're going to be joining as you go. So we're making, we've made our squares and now we are joining as we go to make our actual blanket. So exciting! Let's get started! Because this is the first square of our polka dot blanket, we are going to do the entire round. We're going to finish this round for this square. So for this row, get into your corner space and make one double crochet and then one double crochet into each stitch all the way across. So this one is pretty easy to do. You don't have to do anything other than one double crochet into each stitch and I will meet you at the corner. So now at the corner, this last stitch is still a stitch and because we turned our work, the space of the stitch is after this post. So we have to go into that guy. I'm going to go into that last stitch. Into our corner, because we're going all the way around, we're going to do a full corner, two double crochets, a chain one, and two double crochets. If this is your second or any other of your squares, you're only going to make half of your corner here. So just your first two double crochets, and you're going to stop. That's all you're going to do, and then we, are we would be joining. But because this is the first one, we're going to go all the way around and complete this square. When you get back to where you joined, just remember that each of these stitches, each of these sticks needs a double crochet coming out of it and the stitch is a little bit after the post. So here's one and then our last one, because it looks like you could just skip it but we cannot, goes right into that space. That's our chain of the previous row and we really need to work a double crochet into there. It's important that we have the same number of stitches on all sides of all squares. And if you pull that, those stitches apart or out, you'll see that we still have to work into our corner. So into the corner, two double crochets, one and two. So I'm going to chain one and slip stitch to join. So this is like the regular way of doing it. And then chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down. So now this square is complete. So now we're going to go ahead with the joining. So line it up so you have your completed square up top and the square where you have finished one side down below. Put, take your stitch marker out and put that loop back on your hook and we are ready to start. So we have finished the, fir the first two double crochets of this corner so what we would normally be doing is a chain and then two more double crochets. So instead of doing the chain we're going to do a slip stitch. So straight from this last double crochet of that side and find the center of this corner up here. So you can count your two double crochets on each side. Make sure you're in the middle of it. Make sure you're in the middle of that corner. Put your hook down into that corner and under. Grab that yarn and bring it up through that stitch and slip stitch to join. So now we've kind of connected. It feel, it's super wobbly and feels super awkward right now but just accept it. <laughs> Wrap your yarn and make a double crochet into the corner of the square we are joining. One double crochet. And now looking at the top square, pull your hook down so it's not in the way and you can see that this here is our next stitch. We've gone into the corner and now here is our next stitch. So take your hook and go down into that stitch grab your yarn and bring it up, slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn and we did one double crochet into that corner so we have to do one more double crochet into the corner space. Don't forget to do your corner. So there's our double crochet. Now looking at the top again, here is our next stitch where we're going to be going into. Remember to pull your hook down so you can see. If you're working like this, you can often skip a stitch. So pull your hook down, get a good look, and go into that next 
stitch. Grab your yarn and bring it up, slip stitch to join, and now we're going to make a double crochet on the bottom. So we finished our corner with two double crochets into that corner spot of this side. Now we're going to make a double crochet into that next stitch. So one double crochet into the stitch, pull your hook down, get a look for the next stitch, put your hook down into that next stitch, grab your yarn and bring it up, slip stitch to join, wrap your yarn and a double crochet into the square that we are joining. Double crochet, hook down, look up, see this next empty stitch, put your hook down into the stitch, grab your yarn and bring it up, slip stitch to join, double crochet into the square we are joining. Double crochet, hook down so we can see our next empty stitch, put your hook in, grab that yarn and bring it back, slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn, double crochet into the square we are joining, hook down to look up, find that next empty stitch, put your hook down into the stitch, grab your yarn, bring it up, oops, lost my yarn, hook down, grab your yarn and bring it up, slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn, double crochet into the square we're joining, hook down so you can see the next empty stitch, put your hook down into the stitch, bring your yarn up, slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn, double crochet into the square we are joining, hook down so we can see there's our next stitch, put your hook down into the stitch, grab your yarn and bring it up, slip stitch to join, wrap your yarn and double crochet into the square we are joining. Hook down, find that next empty stitch, hook down into the stitch, grab your yarn and bring it back, slip stitch to join. We're going to keep going like this, double crochet into the square we're joining, putting your hook down into the stitch that corresponds of the square you've already finished, slip stitching to join, wrapping your yarn, making another double crochet, and another slip stitch into the next stitch of the square we've already finished. And we're going to keep going all the way along this side, doing the same thing, double crochet, slip stitch to join double crochet, slip stitch to join. So the trick is to keep your hook out of the way when you're looking for your next empty stitch. So like pull your hook down so you can see, there it is, and you always go down into your stitch and bring your yarn up. So there is our join so far. You can see it's just a nice little sweet flat not a braid, but a cute little slip stitch going across. It looks weavy like a flat little braid. And it's quite flat, it's quite a great join, and all you're doing is adding a slip stitch after you do a double crochet. So double cro crochet, slip stitch, double crochet, slip stitch, double crochet, slip stitch. And you can see also, so you don't panic, look what it looks like. This one is super short, and this one is super long. So it looks like you've already done something wrong. Plus on this side, you can see this one's already bowed out a little bit. So it looks like we didn't line it up here, but we did. So don't panic. If yours, if yours looks like this, if yours looks like this, don't panic. Mine looks like that too. And it's gonna work out. You just have to not actually look at it. Keep on just keeping your head down and keep on doing one double crochet and finding that next empty stitch and one more double crochet. Just keep going until you get to the corner and I'll meet you there. So I've almost gotten to the end of this row and you can see it is not lining up. It's like misbehaving completely. Don't panic. Just keep your head down. I finished my slip stitch so into my last stitch I'll do my last double crochet and join, I'm still joining the same way into the, the corresponding stitch up top. Now remember, I have to do my corner. So that's two more double crochets for us. So there's one double crochet into the corner and now slip stitch into that next stitch to join. I have one more double crochet into that corner 
and now into the corner. So two double crochets into the corner I'm joining. And then I join this one, so I would be doing a chain, a chain one here. Instead of doing the chain one, I slip stitch into that corner space. So I'm just gonna slip stitch like that. And now we've joined, just gonna turn my work a bit or rotate it around and finish off this side of my square. So two double crochets into that same corner space. One and two. And one double crochet into each stitch going all the way along. Finish my corner, finish my other side, and I'll meet you at the join. When you get to the join, just remember you're going to be working into that chain, which is that special little spot we found. Just that little hole. So that's going to be our last double crochet of the side, and then we have to finish our corner. So two double crochets into that corner space one and two and we're finished with this yarn again so we're going to chain one and slip stitch to join so top of the chain three two loops of that stitch on your hook bring your yarn back bring your yarn through chain one and cut your yarn leaving a long enough tail to sew in and not be frustrated so pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down so now we have two of our squares joined and you can see that joint. You can also see it's not totally straight on the sides. It's wumped out here. It's, you know, it's not lined up, but it will totally line up when we join the next column. So don't worry about it. That's what it looks like. From the side, you can see it's still pretty flat. It's not a, it's not a big raised texture. It's just a flat, maybe this way you can see it. It's just a flat, cute little detail. And all it was was a slip stitch at the top of your double crochets. So that is super worth it to me. I think it's great and you're actually done joining your blanket and you have no extra yarn to sew in or threads to sew in because you just did the whole join as you go for all of the gray. So now you're going to keep going, just keep moving this strip up and you're going to build one whole column. So the next one I'm going to join is going to be this yellow one. So I'm going to get that side up where I need to join. I'm going to put it in the same spot. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to make sure that my pretty side is facing up. I don't want the macaroni. I want the cute little lines. So I want that side facing up and I'm always going to be joining from my stitch marker to this corner and I'm always going to be also making sure I find my corner because corners can be a bit deceiving so make sure you're in the corner of this square to join. And you're going to keep doing it the same way until you have all your colors joined for one of your columns. And then I will meet you back and we'll start building out. So I've got my stripe done. And now I'm going to join along the side. So this is still the same, the first pink one I made, but now it is up top. And I've, so I've spun it around. I'm working into this one and I'm going to be joining purple. You can lay out your colors and my colors are going to be on a diagonal so just to kind of keep it clear in your head of what you're doing you can lay it all out and then just keep picking one one from wherever you have it laid out on a spare bed or whatever or just make sure you know what you're doing in your head like this is going to be my pink over here and then the one beside it over this side is going to be orange and the one next going down this side is going to be blue so you just kind of keep it sorted out in your head. Or lay it out so you can visually see it the whole time. So I know I'm joining purple and I know that pink is going to be my next one. So for the purple, I line it up so my join is in the same spot that I always start in. And this is still a super easy join. This is the same as just joining one side because we're only going to be joining one side because here is still empty, over here is still empty. So this is what we've done before, but we will do it together. I will not leave you. So I finished my two doubles in that corner. Get it back over here. And find the corner of this one, find the chain one. Make sure you're going into the chain one. So hook down and grab that yarn, bring it through and slip stitch to join double crochet into the corner of the square you're joining. One double crochet. Bring your hook down so you can see the next stitch, which is this guy here. 
because we've only gone into the space. So now we go into that first stitch, slip stitch, double crochet back into the corner. So if we are last two double crochets of that corner, hook down a bit so we can see there's our next stitch. Hook down, slip stitch to join, wrap your yarn, and now double crochet into the square we're joining, slip stitch into the next stitch of our finished square. Make sure you keep your hook out of the way so you can see the stitch. Double crochet into the square that's closest to us and slip stitch into the next stitch of the square above. So keep going like this and I will meet you when we get closer to the corner. So the last double crochet into a real stitch. Find the corresponding empty stitch next up top and now into our corner. I'm going to make one double crochet, slip stitch, one more double crochet, and now to join this one, we aren't going to join into this square right that we've been joining into. For the corner, for our slip stitch, we're going to join across. We're going to join kitty corner. So find the corner of the next square over. Just wiggle your finger in there so you're sure that there's two double crochets on that side and two double crochets on that side and that you're at the corner space. And slip stitch over there. So put your hook in, grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your... and slip stitch to join. So that has given us a nice join and now we can kind of spin our work around we can see what we're up to and now wrap your yarn and we're just going to finish this side. So two double crochets into this corner and one double crochet into each stitch. Finish our corner, finish our other side and join and fasten off. So this was a pretty easy one to do. It was the exact same as we did before, just working in a straight line. The only difference was this little join here. We don't join straight across, you join kitty corner. So I'll finish this one off and I will meet you and we will join this square here. So now we're ready to join this square here and you can see it's wonky here, it's wobbly there, don't worry about it. You can also notice where it's joined together, it's perfectly straight and flat and lovely. So don't worry about these whoops and this weird thing going on on all your edges, that is just normal. All these whoopies, they're going to go away, don't fret we will get there. But first we're going to join this square. So I'm going to start the same way, getting this corner ready and getting this square ready to join. So we're going to start the same way, joining this one side. So I've done my two double crochets into that corner, so I'm ready to do a chain one if I was going to continue around. So instead of my chain one, I'm going to find the corner, the corner space of this square here. So put your hook down into that corner space of, the, of your blanket, because now it's a blanket. Slip stitch to join, and then come work down into the square you're joining with making a double crochet into the corner space. P pulling your hook down, finding that first stitch, getting your hook in, grabbing your yarn and bringing it through, slip stitching to join, last double crochet into that corner space. hook down, find the next stitch, slip stitch to join, double crochet into the first stitch, slip stitch to join. So just keep going along like this and I will meet you when we get to the self-doubt over here. So here we are over at self-doubt. So this is when you're going to start thinking, oh my gosh, I did a whole bunch of things wrong. This doesn't, there's too many stitches here. There's not enough stitches here. It's too close. It's too far. It's too weird. What you do want to do is just make sure, looking back, that everything lines up. One, like sometimes maybe you didn't join one of the doubles, so it's kind of loose, and then you joined the second double crochet in the next stitch so it might be like too short because you forgot to join once. I've done that more than, more than once. But just go and make sure you can kind of just line up. I don't count because it's me but I just line them up with my eyes make sure everything's like lining up and wherever it's not lining up that's where I kind of look and be like what's going on. But 
you'll get the hang of it. No good TV shows. Don't answer the phone. You gotta stay on your game. So, and now I've finished my last double crochet into the stitch. Now I'm gonna do my first one into the corner. And that joins into this side. That next stitch. Slip stitch to join. My second one into that corner and last one of this side. And this is when we would be doing a chain. And I'm going to join kitty corner. I don't know how to show you best. Maybe this way. So I'm not joining to this. I'm going to join across. So this is where I'm joining. Or this, this is the square I'm joining and I'm going to join to this square over there. So what you do, you kind of got to get your hand underneath and find the corner of this opposite square. There's a big chunk of yarn here, all those stitches. Don't even worry about it. Keep a normal stitch on your, a normal loop on your hook. Put your hook down into that corner space. Grab your yarn any which way. Just get it on that hook. Bring it up into that corner space and a slip stitch. So that is your join. Now I'm just going to rotate everything so I have the where I'm joining on top and what I'm joining closest to me. I'm using good tension on my hook right now. I don't, don't want to let it go. I don't want this to be a great big loose ga gaping join. I want it to be nice and tight and, and snug. Wrapping my yarn and I'm going to make a double crochet into the corner space of the square I'm joining. Great. Now, now this will hold your tension in place and now we can get ourselves organized. The bigger it gets, kind of the more awkward, but it also gets easier because you know what you're doing. So I've joined, I've made my double crochet. Now I have to find this first stitch, which is just there. Into that first stitch, slip stitch. Second double crochet into that corner space. Hook down, let's look for that second stitch right here hook down into the stitch, yarn back up, and slip stitch. And now we're pretty much easy, same as usual. Double crochet, slip stitch into the next stitch above to join. Work your way along this side. And I get going a bit. I don't stand and look at my corner just now. I keep going because everything looks weird after you turn a corner or join a corner. So get going ahead a little bit before you pick it apart. Like now maybe we can pick it apart. So there is our join and look how cute that is. Nice and tight, no holes. Looks great. So now when we get over to our corner, we're going to slip stitch into this corner, kitty corner. We're gonna leave this one alone now. We're gonna jump straight over, slip stitch to join. Turn your work or rotate it. Finish this corner, two double crochet. I do that quick so that I don't lose my tension. I want that to be a, qu a, a close join in that corner. And now I'm just gonna move along and finish this square off. And that is how you do your joining of a corner piece. So this is how it looks now. This is our first column that we worked on. And now we are joining our second row, I suppose, down along the side. So our first square, easy, we just join one side. Our second square, we start and join on the two sides. And for every corner, we do kitty corner joining, kitty corner joining, and now our next square will be here, and so on and so on, and then we'll come, finish this row and then put on another square here, and keep going along, etc, etc, until your blanket is six polka dots wide and six polka dots long. Of course, you're welcome to do any size you would like. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share, and stay hooked.